Welcome to this video. Today we are gonna make a lighter version of a dal makhni. It's a super comforting and flavorful dish and it's gonna warm you up perfectly, especially when winter is around the corner. And yeah, as a side dish, I'm gonna make some super easy and quick garlic naan. So let's get started right away. Alright, so we're gonna start by chopping the onion, the jalapeno, the ginger, and the, it's the garlic. Perfect. So, gonna slice medium onion. Half of my jalapeno, because it's really small. All right, so everything is chopped up and now I'm gonna heat it up in the pot with oil. Let's go. The other part. I'm gonna start with my garlic. I need to add my spices. So in Indian um, dishes, the spices say play such a big role. So what I love to do is I'm taking some fresh cherry tomatoes and then I'm gonna slice them up and add them to our can of diced tomatoes. Perfect, let's bring it to the pot. And cook it for a few minutes. All right, it smells so good. I'm gonna add some black pepper. You can be really generous with the black pepper because it goes really well in this dish. Some salt. And now I have uh, one bay leaf here, which I'm gonna add. Also gives an amazing flavor to the dish. And I'm gonna add my black lentils, beluga lentils. I really like them and they're so healthy for you. I'm gonna add our beans. I'm using one can of kidney beans. Now it seems like a lot. Uh, I'm gonna add five cups of water, but we need this amount to, yeah, to cook the lentils properly. I'm gonna let it cook on medium-high heat for a bit, and then I'm gonna take it down to medium-low heat, put the cover on, and then we're gonna let it rest for 35 minutes. So the lentils are soft. Okay, so in the meantime, when our dal makhni is cooking, I'm gonna prepare the garlic naan. Um, super delicious to dip it into the dal makhni when it's done. I'm gonna start with one cup of um, all-purpose flour, half a tablespoon of brown sugar, half a tablespoon of baking powder, and then I will mix the dry ingredients and on top I'm gonna add some salt and mix it. Now I have half a cup of Greek yogurt here that I'm slowly gonna add. And this garlic naan recipe is so quick and it's super delicious. Let's take my olive oil and add a splash of olive oil. And now you can feel that it's a little bit sticky, so I have some extra flour here and I'm gonna add until I feel like the dough is not sticky. So you just have to feel the amount of flour that you add on until your dough is not sticky anymore. Little bit of semolina here so it will not stick on the wood. It's actually really useful. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take this to roll my dough. And yeah, I think I will use this one so I can have a nice shape, circle. 
But actually the shape doesn't matter, so however you want to shape it, you can do it. Alright, so I'm gonna prepare the, the garlic oil for the topping of the naan bread. And I'm adding olive oil and some salt. Okay, so I'm waiting for my olive oil to get hot in the pan. Let's check on our dal makhni. Wow, so full of spices and flavors. Okay, so I have my naan bread here. What I'm gonna do is to make small holes in the fork. Let's add it. Oh, it's bubbling. Let's check on our bread here. Mm, almost. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna flip my bread. Okay. And when it's cooking from the other side, I'm adding my garlic marination. Our naan bread is ready. We place them here on a plate. So back to our dal makhni. The lentils are soft. I'm gonna remove the bay leaf. It was cooking there for the flavor. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm taking two cups of the stew and adding it to a blender. And I'm gonna mix it. And now I'm gonna add the blended mix back to the stew. And I'm doing this because um, in the traditional recipe, actually there's a lot of butter and cream used, but this way we will make it lighter and still have creaminess by just blending the ingredients. Okay, so I'm gonna prepare our garnish called slices of lime and this one I'm gonna use for the to add to the stew and here I have some fresh coriander so now it's really time to taste it and if you feel like any spice should be added on I love to put a little bit extra garam masala in the end I'm a big fan of this flavor and coriander, I love it. It's a bit more, but you should just try it and see if you feel like it should have a little bit more salt or any other spice. Now I have uh, coconut cream that I'm gonna add in the end. And a splash of lime. Mix it. Taste it. Okay, we're done. I'm gonna take a spoon and add my lentil stew here. Mm. Yeah, so if you do it the traditional way, um, it takes many hours to prepare actually. I think mostly it's done in the slow cooker and you need to soak the lentils for many hours. But this version is actually really fast and yeah, you still get an amazing flavor even though um, it will not take many hours to prepare. And this version, it's also much lighter than the traditional one because usually you're adding a lot of cream and butter, but here we're only gonna use some light coconut cream. the line for decoration so that's it I hope you like my recipe and I see you next time